everyone real quick i want to thank sponsor today's video being factor 75 so what is factor well with factor you can get dietitian designed meals that are fresh never frozen delivered directly to your door these science-backed nutritional quality ready made meals means no mess it means no prep factors menus are updated weekly and include over 27 meals and 34 add-ons you can have to choose your favorite meals or let factor craft your order based on your preferences and meal history they offer seafood meat keto calorie smart chef's favorites vegan and vegetarian so what i like factor convenience no prep no mess it's ready when i am quick easy and then you're not getting takeout or trying to grab something on the go the meals are really easy to kind of fit into your fitness and wellness programs i really like the low calorie options and all the add-ons can be great and then it's flexible you can get between 4 and 18 meals a week you can also skip if you need so if you're busy like i am and could benefit from some good healthy food and saving time use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGJOEL60 for 60% off your first box today. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today I'm in Fayetteville, yes, Fayetteville, Arkansas, guys. This is pretty much my first time in Arkansas that wasn't driving through it, and my first time I'm attempting a food challenge in Arkansas, so I'm actually super, super excited. Today I am outside Grubs, yes, Grubs. This is a burger, slash bar slash grill restaurant um, in this university town. Yes, this is the town of the University of Arkansas. Everywhere is all about Razorbacks, which airs like the university team. Um, so long story short, giant burger challenge. In fact, it's 15 patties, just 15 patties. So how this challenge works is in order to get it free, you have to beat the previous record. Previous record is 14 patties. So again, obviously I have to eat 15 to get it for free. Um, we are gonna have one hour to complete the challenge. The burger is also served with an order of French fries. Um, so that's about that. Should be good. I'm definitely excited. Um, you do get to pick like the type of burger, if that makes sense. So I think it's like the base burger. Um, I'll probably just put, you know, like lettuce and tomatoes and onions or whatever on it. Um, so yeah, like I said, one hour to complete the challenge in order to get the meal for free. And if not, you pay for it. And I'm assuming you probably pay per patty. I'll get you an exact price. But uh, yeah, current record set by our good friend, Mr. Randy Santel. And in Randy's style, I believe I'm going for an overall food challenge win, 457, something like that. But anyway, guys, super excited to be here in Arkansas. Try this first challenge. Let's head in and have fun. Let's eat some food. Let's get it eat. Hi right, everyone, so here we are with the burger. As you can see, it's absolutely massive, but I'm definitely excited to dive into this. Um, so 15 patties, this is the record. And then we do have um, what is a side of fries. It's not an overly large portion. I have a sauce here as well. What is what is that right there? It's our signature fry dipping sauce. Signature fry dipping sauce. I wonder what that's used for. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, like we said, we do have one hour to complete the challenge. If we complete it, it is free. And what's the price if we do not complete it? I think it's like $92. $92, yes, $92. So about $100 if we do not complete the challenge. So like we said, guys, hopefully we can get our first food challenge win in the state of Arkansas. Super excited. And uh, I'm gonna lay this down on its side because I don't trust this standing like this. And uh, we'll get started here just momentarily. All right, and uh, got it a little more interesting. So there is a gentleman with an app called Obigo who apparently uh, wants to buy everybody in the bar or at least some people beer if I complete this. And then he will make a charitable donation to a local uh, charity called Pedal It Forward, which is Bikes for Homeless on behalf of myself. So I'm here for charity. They're here for beer. No judgment, no judgment. That being said, um, so let's uh, get started. We're gonna rock in and roll in. I will take some of this and go like some of this. And so I'm ready to rock and roll. Good if I get started? Yep, go for it. All right. How we say the count of maybe uh, Five, four, three, two, one, let's eat. Oh. I just undid the belt. We're going to need it.
That's a good burger. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Grubbs in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Yes, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Here taking on their massive Grubbs Burger Challenge. So, like we said, a record patty burger challenge being you have to beat the previous record. So we had to eat 15 patties. Uh, I did not want to go any higher than 15 because obviously I want somebody else to be able to complete this and the next person would only have to do 16, whereas if I would have ate more, it would have been a lot higher. Uh, nonetheless, this was a very large burger. Uh, these are half pound patties. There's a really nice seasoning on the patties. No complaints. Definitely cooked nice. Nice and juicy. So we got really like seven and a half pounds of meat, which is insane, plus the order of fries, and then of course a, well, any toppings, the kind that you choose from. So the way this works is you do like pick the kind of burger from the menu, if that makes sense. So like, you know, they'd have like the more like traditional burger, which is what I went with, but then they would have had like a bacon burger, or they would have had, you know, something like a barbecue burger. The one thing they did say is, because uh, I inquired if I could like do like, hey, can I do part bacon burger, part barbecue burger, part normal? And they said no. It had to all be one, had to all be congruent. So I figured I would just kind of go with the more standard. And then from there, I could obviously, you know, have my ketchup, hashtag I love ketchup, and or, you know, whatever else with it. No complaints, guys, no complaints. <laughs> So it was a good tasting burger. I asked for them cooked about like a medium rare medium and they were right on point. The atmosphere in the bar was awesome. I got to witness a true, um, I believe it's called the call of the hogs. I have a ketchup, ketchup here, but I have a ketchup plate here by the way. And let's just say, I do love me some ketchup. And we are almost three minutes in. I also have some uh, hot sauce here. I might kind of add a little bit. I don't usually have hot sauce with my burgers, so usually just ketchup, but I'll put a little bit more there. I like that combo. Uh, like if the Arkansas Razorbacks, right? You know, from the university there. This is the university town, town of the University of Arkansas. And they have their call of the hogs or call of the Razorbacks, which was awesome. Pig suey, guys. Pig suey. So that was pretty dang cool. And uh, yeah, then of course, now that it was not only in the quest for a free meal, but I was also getting a free meal plus everybody in the bar beer and then a donation to charity. So. Hey, I mean, I guess we'll call that paying it forward. And then, of course, I'm always for a charitable donation. So, yeah, burger challenge for charity, free meal, and a t-shirt was what we were in the quest in. Otherwise, like I said, it was about 100 bucks. I actually knew the last three winners, which was pretty cool. Um, the When it was 12, it was a uh, local friend that we got to meet up with, which was awesome. We went and checked out the Botanical Gardens. Then when it was 13, it was Brandon to Garbage Disposal. 14 was Randy Santel. Alrighty. And we have quite a crowd here. We got everybody in the bar watching. Yeah. So. I love the looks of some bewilderment, some just like, dis, uh, how do I nicely put that? Um, amazement, I'll say amazement, shock, yeah. I was gonna say disgust, but you know what I'm saying? But, no complaints guys, going good. We have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have eight patties left. Um, we're about five minutes here. So it was kind of cool that, you know, I mean, hey, then I was next in line, and I'm sure somebody will shortly be after me. Um, I did have a number of people send me this challenge, you know, recommend it, etc. And it was pretty funny. Um, I guess, like, so I messaged, the, you know, the individuals who told me about it. I said, hey I'm, hey, I'm coming your way. I'm coming that way. And I guess one of them, like, called the restaurant, 
and I don't know if they I don't know if they just said like hey somebody's going to do the challenge or maybe they're coming to do the challenge or what it was but I like walked in to be like you're doing the challenge aren't you I'm like wait what who who said that and they're like you're a YouTuber right I was like who said anything about that so that was pretty funny um, but yeah guys like I said cool spot uh, but that's about that so let's ultimately tune on in see what happens and uh, big burger let's get eating all right guys I probably am like <coughs> I've had a cup of ketchup in. Do love me some ketchup? And we're coming on seven minutes. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Look at that. That is the hookup right there. Excuse me. Compliments to the chef. Eight and a half minutes in. These are some big patties. They're like half pound patties. Definitely no shortage of meat. No shortage of protein, I'll put it that way. But we'll keep on going through this. That is a very uh, juicy bun. Very. Wow, look at this. Look at this. That is a ketchup plate. <laughs> look at that. That is, that is a ketchup plate. My standards have been now, like, forever raised. Can I give you that? Literally a ketchup plate. Hey, I ain't complaining. Excuse me. So that probably puts me at, like, two cups of ketchup. It's probably like a full bottle. Nonetheless, thank you. Let's try the fry dip. You say we tried it. Like you said, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a flavored mayonnaise, it's like an aioli. Not bad, not bad. Or just rock and roll. Come up with 14, 40 or so. No complaints. Again, shout out to ketchup plate. That is like literally a whole standard, a whole new standard of ketchup plates. <coughs> the last one of these guys we have. 
A mop, a grease mop, and a bug. Let's get this done. Excuse me. <laughs> So official time, 15 minutes, 31 seconds. Um, that was a 15 patty burger. So technically that was about one minute per patty. It will take 30 seconds for the fries. Um, good burgers overall, no complaints. So Pat, we do get the meal for free. Is there a t-shirt or anything like that? Yes. Yes. And a sweet t-shirt, that's pretty cool. So now somebody else will come beat the challenge or you know, do the challenge to get the meal for free. They'll have to eat 16 patties. And uh, yeah, it just keeps going up one by one by one. They said there have been a lot, a lot of attempts. Again, especially being kind of a university town, the main populace coming here being the students of the University of Arkansas. Um, but yeah, guys, no complaints. So with that, everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, we will also get a charitable donation to um, the local bike charity here for Bikes for the Homeless. And apparently, people get free beer, so. You're welcome. No, no, no. So everybody, hope you enjoyed. Of course, the next time happy with them, you're happy eating. Huge thanks all staff here, they've been super awesome. Shout out this ketchup plate that literally is a whole like definition of a ketchup plate. And uh, yeah, it was really cool. So we got our first win in the universe. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's Lily, she's my uh, lovely server. Um, but yeah, seriously, uh, first win in Arkansas. Super cool, very memorable. Glad we were able to do it. And that's about that, guys. So, till next time, have a little day. And everybody, while I am here in Fayetteville, yes, Fayetteville, Arkansas, I decided to come check out the Botanical Garden of the Ozarks. So this is one of the big sites to be seen. In addition, of course, like a lot of things were about in the university. Um, so that's pretty cool. We're actually joined by some of our local friends are showing us around today. We got Johnny and his daughter back here, so it'll be pretty fun. But anyway, we're uh, like in treat for butterfly houses, a whole bunch of different gardens of international themes and uh, all that stuff. So I don't know, we'll go check it out. Botanical Gardens of the Ozarks. Let's go see what it has to offer. So we are getting to the Japanese garden. Apparently got water, plants, stone, all the above. Let's go on in and see what this is all about. So we have a variety of greenage, junipers, some poly, some water plants. Here you go, this is cool. That's some bamboo. We got a, oh, we do have fish. We have some little, little fish in there. Fancy goldfish, or maybe maybe koi. I think they're goldfish. Uh, we've got some water gardens. How about these thingy things? Okay, so it's just a nice little, nice little uh, size. Got a that plant. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. Okay, here we go. So Japanese fixture and then we found this bat flower the very special rare and rarely blooming bat flower the lady told us about which I gotta say does look quite like a bat and kind of like a little bit of a spider thing going on so that's pretty cool what do you think I think it's pretty cool <laughs> it's, it's something pretty, different for sure it's something different and heading into the vegetable and herb garden so this is, you know, we got everything from like tomatoes to, I don't want to say more standard items, but you know, flowers and herbs you'd expect. There's a very pretty dragonfly. Lots of butterflies around, understandably so. We got some kind of marigolds. Here's those tomates. And all these other plants and flowers and herbs, which are likely 
and possibly to be eaten. These are probably uh, maybe peas, maybe peas or something like that. Cool, pretty, yeah, pretty nice. Definitely a little more like traditional, what you'd expect to see. Some cabbages and uh, yeah, nice corn uh, <laughs> statue. I like it actually. And have some chickens, so we uh, dinner is included with admission. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we got a, a number. Of, oh, there we go. A little bit of a chicken fight. That is a rooster right there. We got cool chickens in the vegetable garden here. Cool. And then entering into the kids' garden, I have a a kid-sized door. So <laughs> let's see. Yeah, uh, let's see how how we fit through this. There we go. There. there it works. Nice. And it's again, we have some nice pleasantries of flowers and a little bit of a waterfall. A little bit of a bridge. You can go up into the tree. Maybe we'll have to do that. Chicken feet. Look at this. It's like the, uh, it's obviously there's a path. And then we come on up. Oh yeah, look, follow the chicken feet up into this like little tree house. It's like the, uh, what it's like the what is Narnia or the Bridge of Terabithia or whatever? Here we go. This is cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's actually a nest. Look at that. That's yeah. sweet. Dope. And then the bottom of the treehouse also has a little little section here, which is beautiful. Look at all these murals, and it is like fully, fully, fully done. Like very impressive, actually. Really cool. And yeah, I mean, this is a small doorway. That's an incredibly small doorway, so. Another cool spot. Here we have what they call the Reading Railroad, which is cool. It's literally a set of couches hooked up to a train. And uh, then we have a big stick bug thing over there you can hold. There we go, ding, ding, ding. So that's cool. And this is again, just pretty much in the uh, kids area. And here we are in the uh, butterfly observatory so you have lots of little butterflies very very pretty love the colors with the blue love the flapping wings butterflies are something i really appreciate and i often don't get to see many of them in canada i find there just isn't that many maybe it's just the seasonality of it but when i come uh oklahoma had a whack of butterflies um Obviously, I'm seeing here in the observatory, but Arkansas State definitely seems to have some wild as well. And uh, I always appreciate that. Another thing I experienced when I went to Brazil, just so many butterflies. Mexico, I feel, has a lot as well, so gorgeous. And they actually have, like, caterpillars here eating and munching on the leaves away, which is pretty cool. And then, obviously, you know, you follow the stages and the development of a butterfly until it turns into... A butterfly. So continuing on, we have some big tree with a face on it. Lots of lots of lots of green space. I mean, there's some gorgeous paths here, trails. This is, um, I would say like a little bit less of a featured garden and more just like a general garden. But I mean, of course there is, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different plants and nice little bits of gazebos and, uh, you know, lots of plants and wildlife. This is really cool, actually. This is pretty. Like uh, so these leaves, and then underneath is a bright red. Beautiful. Lots of things to see. And we have a swing set in the native Ozark garden here. Lots of flowers. Now these are more flowers that honestly, I see pretty much in the north and, and very commonly across um, a lot of the country. And again, I, I'm very familiar with a lot of these flowers, um, at least by visual. Purple cone flower and all that stuff. I definitely see these up north, so I guess they can grow in a little bit more of the winterous climates. And uh, again, being native here to Arkansas and the surrounding area, like there's another butterfly. We have some sunflowers here, I think sooning to bud. Still more of these big, more northern flowers. We have these, uh, I don't even know what these are, shaded pieces. And then we have a memorial which looks pretty cool. It says metamorphosis, chrysalis, pulpa, egg. So it's about butterflies. Pretty cool. And we have some great big, I don't know, I call them banana leaves. They're not banana leaves, some big trees here. A little more, a little more tropical trees. 
which are pretty cool. We have some, uh, actually some little chairs in there. I guess you can get fanned and shaded under. We have some little structures here. That's the majority of the park. You know, we missed a, maybe a couple things on video, but we saw it walking through and very beautiful. Hey, guess what? You rock. Yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.